This is Kat with Bita Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do half Persian three in one chainmail. Now, this is what it looks like. I think it's a really fun weave. It's actually really dimensional. As you can see, it kind of has almost a curved effect to it. And this is actually a really easy weave once you get it down, so you're going to have a lot of fun doing this. So, to complete this project, what you're going to need is you're going to need one lobster clasp to make a bracelet. And then we're going to be using two pliers today. I have a chain nose plier and a bent nose plier. As we work, you'll see why I recommend the bent chain nose pliers. And then for my rings today, I'm just going to show you the package. I'm using an 18 gauge, 7 and 30 seconds inch, and an inner diameter of 5.56 millimeters. Now this uh, works really good for this type of weave, so I recommend starting with this one. It's a great one. So, as you can see, I've already sort of pre-opened some of my rings and pre-closed some of my rings. It's just a good way to kind of prepare your table when you're doing chainmail. That way, once you get into your weave, you're just ready to keep going and you don't have to worry about stopping to open more and close more that are, you know, nice and sealed and tight. Okay, so let's get started. So you're going to start with three closed jump rings and one open ring. So go ahead and pick up your open ring and now we're just going to pick up all three of our closed jump rings here. And just go ahead and place them right on there. And just close that jump ring up. Now here's an important step. So when you go ahead and you place it down, what you're gonna want is you're gonna want two jump rings facing one way, but this third jump ring in the back, you're gonna wanna flip him over, just like that. So that you actually have your three jump rings, one, two, three, and your fourth, which is connecting them right there. You see that? Okay. So now the next step is to take a closed jump ring and an open jump ring. Your closed jump ring, you're going to go ahead and set just behind there because now we're going to take our open jump ring and now we're working with this ring, this ring, and this ring. And we're gonna connect them using that open jump ring and you're going to go through the center there and come around and pick it up. Now, I'm going to do this, and you might not be able to see, but just hold tight because as I weave a little bit further, it'll be easier for you to see what I'm doing. So. So now let me just try to space that out and show you what I did. So I now have these three connected by this ring and these three connected by this ring. So now I'm just going to repeat. So you're going to take another closed jump ring, kind of just slide it behind there so you're able to pick it up nice and easy. Take an open jump ring and now we're going to slide it through. Let me just arrange that. Slide it through here, through this opening right here, and down, and making sure to pick up that other jump ring, and just kind of pulling my jump ring through here. And closing it. And now making sure this jump ring lays forward because you're going to want it to weave in a certain way. So I'm going to do a few more just so you guys can kind of get the hang of it. And also you can sort of see, take your closed jump ring, slide it behind, take an open jump ring, and you're going to thread it down through, picking up the first two rings and then sliding it around and making sure that third ring gets, gets on there. Pulling your jump ring through. You wanna make sure it gets onto this jump ring. So sometimes you just gotta wiggle it in there with your fingers. And now I can go ahead and pull it through.
Okay, so you see where it's attached there to all three? And now I'm just going to take the pliers and close it up. And you'll notice it's getting a little flipped. So I just need to make sure that this last jump ring here sits behind. So I'm just gonna wiggle it with my finger there. And there you go. Now when you start doing this uh, for bracelets, like we see in this one here, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna leave a little starter piece for yourself. It'll make your work a lot easier. So this might be my starter piece. And then I'll just keep adding from here. And when I get the length of a bracelet that I want, I'll unattach it from here and then I'll have my nice clean bracelet. But I'll always have this starter piece so that if I ever wanna go back and do another three in one chain mail, that's how I'm gonna do it. So just to show you here on the bracelet, when you come to the end, and let me just go ahead and flip this over so you'll see how it sort of looks. It is different on both sides. It does just lean a different way. Some say it will be right leaning or left leaning, and that goes with these jump rings here on the bottom. So you'll just see that they kind of flip around and go the other way. So for my purposes here, what we're gonna do is I just wanna show you really quickly how to attach this jump ring and the clasp here because you're gonna have sort of an odd number of jump rings at the end. So um, we're just gonna show you how to do that real quick. So to attach our lobster clasp, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to take this jump ring that is actually already in there, I'm gonna open it up, and I'm going to take it out. Come on. <laughs> okay, so I've taken that out of my weave. And now I'm gonna put these two together and I'm actually gonna take that same jump ring and just attach it to both. And now I'm going to attach the clasp. This is just an easy way to sort of finish it and to make sure that you don't have sort of, oops, you don't have that sort of hanging uh, ring as if you just tried to attach it to the last one there. So let me just adjust this so you can kind of see just how it sort of has ended that way it's a little bit it's nice and clean it doesn't look like it's hanging off or anything like that and you're just going to do a very similar thing on the other side because if you try to as you can see as i pull it if you just leave that last ring you have this sort of hanging ring that won't attach properly so you're just going to do a similar thing on this side taking this last ring here and detaching it so that when you reattach it, what you're doing here, oops, and they flip nice around for you. So what you're doing is you're just attaching this ring to the last two. So just picking that up. And that way, when you go to clasp your bracelet, you don't have that hanging one. And that's just for this weave. If you're doing it in another fashion, um, you'll be able to, you know, sort of adjust as you need. But there you go. That is how to do the Chainmail 3-in-1 Half Persian. Be sure to check out all of our Chainmail videos, and you can find all of these supplies at bitaholik.com.